Everyone to realize this character is actually insane. In I this feel game. like Twitter decides what character to complain about. Oh, like Twitter every, loves complaining. Every quarter, like but Rob, but now it's Rob. Let me let let all let the record show that Dill's Rob is just Smash Four Diddy Kong in a mecha suit. Okay. This is just down tilt tech chase using an item to pressure with an endless combo game. Did I describe Smash Four Diddy? Did I describe what Dill's about to do for two games? I didn't play Smash 4, so I don't know. <laughs> but All I saw that down air, and that down air was kind of cool. Putting Dill up at a pretty nice lead. I feel like this is what we're going to see for a lot of the a lot of the, the set. It's just going to be, you know, get him off stage, and then gimp him a couple times, and then that's it. I mean, you might be right that the bot is short, but I believe in Nameless. I believe in Ken. That's fair. I believe in Dill. And I believe that this character can make someone just not play the game. Like, they're currently playing a demo of Smash Ultimate. You need to buy the full version to experience the rest of the matchup. Amazing. Top in hand, though, is a good situation for Nameless to be sitting in. Ken has a respectable combo game against the likes of Rob. He's one of those big bodies who just falls for, you get the littlest of hit, you can make that really count. Right, and but I mean, just from what I've seen from Nameless in the past, like, I don't know, minute 15 seconds that we've been in this match is that his spacing's pretty all right. I mean, it's not amazing for close quarter combat, but he's always kind of at a distance where he's kind of safe. I mean, not there, of course, but the... Nowhere is safe against Rob. I like the aerial read going in for the side B. It's nice, but the fact that Dill has been constantly pressuring Nameless off the base platform, a lot of this fighting has been happening on the outer rim of Kalos or in the air, which isn't where Ken really wants to be. He can fight out of the that corner, all right. Oh, Dill going out there, no fear. Oh, uh, Nameless uh, going out there, no fear. All right, I can't try. I can't see who's trying to violate who now. I don't know what Nameless is doing down there. Listen, if you just entered Ultimate for fun and you're like, you know what, I'm on stream, I might as well make this fun, <laughs> I'd be doing some weird stuff too. And it's crazy too because as far as exposure to the scene goes, like Nameless has been around for a long time. Really? He's been he's seen us here at Defend the North year after year after year. He knows that Dill is a talented player. Right. And while this might not be a character that many could be familiar with Dill, this is a very powerful character, and Dill is looking to prove that in today's bracket. Right, Nameless is gonna get a stock, but right into the game one. Do you know what game Nameless prefers in the FGC? Um, I've talked with him about Mostly anime fighter stuff. Yeah, so shout like, to the weeb, Guilty Gear. Or so like a character like Ken kind of fits to that notion. Right. Because like you get your one hit, you get your extension, and there you go. You did your job. You put down a bunch of damage or you netted a stock. That's kind of where the overlap lies. Right. And while Ken is of course not from an anime fighter, his style of play here can sort of like loosely align itself. <laughs> anime fighters are cool. I love anime Video fighters. games are fun. I've gone on the record stating my love for anime fighters to Smash, but Falcon is not a character I expected to see in Falcon. that. Falcon? Falcon's a whole nother level of degenerate, but that's like the other side of anime fighters. That's like the, <laughs> the people side. Okay. <laughs> going to Smashville for game two. I like it. I like it for Falcon, but I also kind of like it for Rob. As far as like what could happen on this stage, I could see Dill very effectively zoning on this stage while also being able to traverse the stage as far as like what he can do in the air. Repositioning with back air and the um, the boost canceling has been ways that Dill is extending his play better and better. But like, Falcon's fast, Falcon's okay. strong. And Falcon wants his grab and he's gonna get it very easily on Smash. And I mean, this game looking a lot different than the last game. I mean, Nameless started out really strongly, but he's gonna get hit with the fair into the laser and that's gonna be his first stock. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you running? He is just out. <laughs> Ooh, I like the Falcon kick to get out. Kind of creative. Goes for the goes for the elbow, doesn't get it. Gonna eat an up air into a jab for him. It's just a ton of damage, and really Nameless doesn't have that many options for getting out of this mix. He's not allowed to move a lot because he has so many things to worry about, from Rob himself to Gyro locking down the ground to the laser blocking off air. And, uh, it's it's a lot to deal with at once. And Dill keeps on positioning himself fantastically when, in relation to the stage. Gonna get the down throw. Obviously looking for the knee. Of course. Not gonna get it. Dill picks up the top. Ooh. Ooh. 
he wanted it, but he's still gonna get it with the I, back that air. Was, that was kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Come on, give credit where credit's due. That was kind of cool. I can't let Dill know that I liked a combo he did. <laughs> I can't. It's what against about my this morals. Combo? This combo is kind of nice. It's too. against my morals to pop off for these juggles or for this ledge pressure. Ooh, I clipped it. Goes for the. <laughs> goes for the read. Top down. All right, I like what Nameless is trying to go for. Set up for some sort of ledge play. Would have been Ooh. cute. Lorandi forward smash is going to net it all the same, but still sitting at 78 is not a good look for Falcon, especially while Nameless still can't find safe land. He's eating tons of damage. Is that going to kill? Nah, it mm. wants to kill. That'll kill, though. Wow, well, it didn't even look like it connected, but it sure did, and it Send sure it delivered back the 2 to the other ballroom. If you guys don't know, the other Yeah, we're, we're like next door from we, the, the everything else. We have else our room. own ballroom, which isn't really like a ballroom. It's kind of like a, just a nice room. We got they, a chandelier. Got a we got we a have chandelier. one chandelier, a couple nice lights this with curtain. this curtain. And more commentators, because that's going to be it for us. Oh, wow. Okay, that was really good. I was really, <laughs> really held so, off behind that. <laughs> Thank you guys for... Check out this chandelier. And if you like it. what you heard from the two of us, make sure to follow us on Twitter. Right over here. It's down here. We're going to we'll be around enjoying the event. And we'll be at Alpha 3 next weekend. We will. So make sure to tune in for that. But stay tuned with us here at House of 3000 for the rest of Defend the North's coverage.